how to connect your Klaviyo signup forms to your Shopify website. Now, the easiest and quickest way to grow your email list is by having a pop-up form on your website. And the strategy that I use is actually slightly different to what most e-com brands do. And that's why the results that I've been able to generate is up to four times higher than the industry averages. So there's gonna be a difference in this video than what you'll see in most other tutorials. So I highly recommend watching this video till the end. So with that being said, let's get stuck right into it. All right, so we're at my Klaviyo dashboard and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click sign up forms on the left and then what I'll do is click create sign up forms on the top right. Now, if you guys are using email and SMS, then click the multi-step email and SMS. And if you're not using SMS, either this option shouldn't show up or if it does, you can just click it and then you can basically just delete the SMS uh, step. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click my newsletter list for uh, the email subscriber list and then the SMS list should show up by default. If it doesn't, just click your SMS list. Now, it's always important to have two separate lists, one for email, one for SMS. Click create form. Now, if you guys don't use SMS marketing, I recommend just deleting this SMS step. You can just click delete over here. But if you do use SMS, then perfect. Keep this exactly the way that it is. Now, the way that my strategy is different is that I actually create a mobile version of the form and I create a desktop version of the form. So they're actually gonna be two completely separate forms. So for now, let's start with the desktop version of the form. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click targeting and behavior and where it says show on, I'm gonna click desktop. So now there's no mobile version of this form and I'm gonna create a mobile version later on in this video. So we're gonna start with the basic rules that we want set up for this form. So we're gonna click show based on rules and we're gonna click show five seconds after the page load. Now I recommend A-B testing this. Anywhere between five to eight seconds is usually a good sweet spot. You can also set up based on how much percentage of the page has been scrolled. I usually like to keep things simple. I just click, you know, five, anywhere between five to eight seconds and then I test it to see the opt-in rate. Now. Next step is gonna be our actual form itself. So let's start editing. Now, what I like to do is I like to use, I like to change this terminology to something more like unlock, un, unlock, let's say 10%, and then I'll make this in capitals. And then below that, I'll say your order. So this text, I think we should make that a little smaller. Uh, let's go, I think we can make it even smaller, perfect. I'm gonna get rid of bold here. I'm gonna make our offer a little larger so it stands out a little more. And then what I'm gonna do is on the unlock, I'm gonna make that less bold, there we go. So now what we can do is, as you can see, we've made this nice and large, make this offer really, really noticeable. So this should be the first thing that the customer's eyes get drawn towards. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this unlock a little bit smaller, just a touch just so then it all sort of matches up nicely. There we go. So for me, I think that looks perfect. And then for this copy, you can really just do something that matches your brand. So basically something along the lines of, you know, enter your email and get 10% off your first order. Just something along those lines. You can make it nice and catchy. You can make it customized to your brand. Now, very important step for the CTA button. From my experience, adding the actual offer in the CTA button gets really high opt-in rates. So what I'm gonna do to that is I'm gonna click the CTA button and then down below where it says button text, I'm gonna change this to unlock 10% now. So basically I've added the actual offer itself within the CTA button. And usually that gets better opt-in rates than just having like continue or submit or something like that. Now. This button text, I would highly recommend customizing it based on, again, your brand. So say if you have like a you know, purple in your branding, you can use something like purple, you know, obviously you can use pink or whatever it might be. Um, just make it stand out, use one of your brand colors. So it actually stands out and customers click that button. Okay, so the next step would be changing our image on the side. Now, I recommend having an image either on the left or the right side, it doesn't really matter, but definitely have an image here on your desktop version. So what we'll do is we'll just click on the image and over here it'll say replace. Um, and then I'm just gonna upload the image that I like. So I'll just drag and drop it into here. And now it's uploaded. So for me, I uploaded an image that I knew was the right dimensions. But basically what you're gonna do is if you feel like the image is slightly off and you know, it just doesn't look right, click on the image and then click edit. And then what you can do is you can crop the image and you can play around with it just to make sure that it hits the exact dimensions that you wanna do. 
I'm going to cancel out of this because I think for me this image looks perfect. And then what I'm going to do is for the SMS side, I'm basically going to do the exact same steps. So I've seen some brands, you know, change the image for the second step. I've seen brands use the same image. Again, this is really your own personal decision. I would start off using the exact same image. Keep it simple. Literally have the exact same text here. So unlock 10% off. Keep it pretty much the exact same. For the SMS side, you need to make sure you keep this uh, disclaimer text. Do not delete it. It is super important. And again, just change the image back to the exact same image that you're using in the first step and then you're basically ready so your desktop version is now done now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna now create a mobile version of this pop-up so again I've go click create sign up form and then I'm gonna go back to the same form so multi-step email and SMS choose your newsletter list which is newsletter SMS list is already showing up and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go to targeting and behaviors and then I'm gonna click show on mobile so now it's going to show me mobile only. And as you can see, the dimensions have changed. So for desktop, landscape dimensions always work best. And for mobile, portrait is the best way to go. So as we can see, we've got portrait dimensions over here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click styles and then I'm going to go to background image and then I'm going to click this little button over here. And now what I can do is I can actually upload an image here um, for my background for this pop-up. So I just select the image that I want to use and I'm going to drag it over. Okay, so now it's uploaded and I'm going to show you guys what I've done. So this actual image, I played around with it before I uploaded it. And you can do this pretty easily using something like Canva or even Photoshop. So there are two really important steps before you upload this image. And those steps are number one is you darken the image. So you decrease the brightness because what we're going to do is we're going to add text over the top and you want the text to be legible. So first step is darken the image. Second step is add a add your brand's logo to the top of the image so those are the only two things you need to do so you can do that pretty easily on Canva and then you export the image and then you upload it into Klaviyo here so what I've done now is obviously I've uploaded the image and I'm gonna click image position and this should be cover so now it's just gonna fit the dimension of the pop-up automatically and then the text over here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the same thing that I did before so unlock 10% off your order and then I'm gonna make this a little smaller make this one a little larger and then make this one a little smaller again again I'm gonna get rid of the bold on these ones so as you guys can see we can't really read the text right now it's clashing quite heavily with our background image but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the actual color of the text I'm gonna change it to white and here we go so it's much more higher contrast now so it's much more easier to read and then this text down below this should also be white as well so it's really important to make sure you can read the text so if you guys notice that you still just can't read the text there's something going on there's just too much contrast going on I recommend doing two things so one is just try to darken your background image even more that way the text will stand out a lot easier or B just try to use a different image something with the colors that work much easier so you can read the text and then next step is gonna be for my call to action button down below I'm gonna change the text again so I click on the button and then I type unlock 10% now in the button text and that's gonna be in this button text section on the left so there we have it so now what we've done is we've created the first step of the multi-step pop-up and then we're gonna basically do the exact same thing here with our uh, with our SMS version so I'm not gonna go through it again because it's just gonna be repeating the same steps that I did in the email version so one last step that's remaining on our mobile version that I haven't done yet is going to be when the form gets triggered. So again, just like the last one, I'm going to click show based on rules and then show five seconds after page load. So now the settings are pretty much the exact same. So what we're going to do next is we're going to publish both forms. So we basically just make them live. So as long as your Shopify account is integrated with your Klaviyo account, there are going to be no further steps. So you just change the status to live and the forms are going to be working on your website. So that covers everything. I hope that all makes sense. I know we've covered a lot in this video. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me on Twitter. It's at email underscore Taryn. Or if you want, you can just comment down below in this video and I'll be happy to reply. So if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I really hope this video has been valuable to you. If this video has been valuable, please consider subscribing. It really goes a long way for our channel. It's pretty new, but we're dropping content every single week. Again, thank you so much for making it this far and I will see you in the next video. See you later.